out. <laughs> hey, Miss Bookworm. Hey, Tiendra. Hi, Mama. Y'all. What's up, Black Girl Book Club Podcast? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. What's going on? What's up? Did y'all miss us last week? Look, when I, when I lost my uh, mind with the one week off, I was just like, it, it felt like, I don't know, maybe I needed a break, but it felt like a couple weeks. It, 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 it feels like it's been a while. Hey, it feels yeah. like it's been a while. Hey, I know, girl, it's cute, ain't it? Girl, that was our Mother's Day so. treat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so how is everybody on this wonderful, amazing Tuesday? It's you know what it's a beautiful thing. It's sunny here in Michigan. We got sunshine and the weather is just nice and it's just it just feels um you know Michigan. It, like weather, free. it just feels finally good. Oh, do it. What that what's the weather like there? Here it's like today I think it was like 81, but Michigan is fickle, it's bipolar, so it's nothing for us to get snow. <laughs> I've had snow on my birthday, so so spring ain't ain't hit yet. Yeah, well, yeah, it is, but spring could mean anything. Oh wow! But anyway, I am good. I am very um good. Are you seeing Miss Candace? No, not yet. She's supposed to be joining us tonight, guys. Hopefully, she will. Um, do y'all got any housekeeping items before we get started? No, no. Um, you know what? I just want us to stay on track. And I'm kind of giving this for myself. Wait a minute. Not Patrice about to put us in our place. I'm putting myself in my place and I need everybody to ride with me because this <laughs> has been this week. I, I want to stay in this book because my mind is all over the place. And so I'm like, I got to stay here in this space because this was a good book. Soul Ties it was. was really, it was so really good. good. Book. Somebody said, this was her big one. Mm -hmm. I feel like I read a few of her books. I feel like this was her big one. Yeah. Like, this was really good. Was it was like, better than a drug call here. Yeah. You think so? You think so? Now, come on now, LaCroix. It was now, competing. No, it was I'm competing. not going to say better than. It was competing. It was most definitely competing with a drug call. You like. A drug call you was really good. Mm hmm A drug call you was really good. Okay, we finna get started, y'all. I was trying to find some real quick, but come on, let's go. Okay, so I am Shaquana. I'm LaCory. And I am Patrice. And we are your hosts of the Black... Wait. <laughs> you know what, name? Shaquana? Every week she does this. <laughs> I said press I record. Her. I didn't hear you. Okay, listen. I'm Shaquana. I'm LaCory. And I am Patrice. And we are your hosts of the Black Girl Book Club podcast. The Black Girl Book Club podcast. The Black Girl Book Club podcast. Club podcast. Hey. Now one housekeeping item. Don't take no screenshots of tonight. My wig ain't on, no earrings on. Y'all just get me how it is right now. So I am not looking my best. Where is the picture on me? LaCory says she getting it out the mud. <laughs> just hold up a picture of me and I'm gonna talk behind the picture oh my god I had this um that's what y'all gonna get <laughs> I had this quote I wanted to read and I have put it in the group and it was from when they was at Pandora okay so if you read mm -hmm. this book just imagine you know meeting this tall dark handsome man at this club that you know you going to this club and what you going to this club for and what y'all gonna do at this club but you meet this man at this club and y'all end up in a room in a compromising position and you are thank you Tandy. your juices okay and he is catching every drop with his mouth from behind on, Shaquana. you wait, wait. back up that train now wait a minute no hold no on. no y'all wait a minute first hold of all now. is she trying to be me right? is she trying to be me i am not trying to be the uh wait a minute wait a minute 
bedroom translator. I was gonna read it exact. I was going <laughs> the bedroom to bedroom translator. I was not right. gonna I was trying to be a bedroom translator, but I was gonna read it exact, but I can't find it because it was so good, y'all. Like they was getting it. They was in it, it was. But it was. again, <laughs> imagine. Yeah, we imagine. Is. Your butt is up in the air, right? And his face is back there. It's all and in your ass. It's dripping everywhere. And he just catching every single drop, okay? Like in the most intricate <laughs> way possible, okay? Like he is getting All the secretion. It. Somebody call. <laughs> I'm not going to mention it. Oh, no. She said she on Google Meet. Hold on, y'all. Dang. That was the link. I can send it to her real quick. Okay, yeah. Talk to her because I'm trying to be on um live. But anywho, so just imagine that, right? So first of all, what is you doing after this happens to you? After you experience this earth shattering? Yeah, okay. So wait a minute. So who, what is who doing him after um, experiencing No, I'm talking about us as, as a group her. in this Black Girl Book Club podcast. I'm talking about me, Shaquana. I didn't tap what, out at that what point. Are, what, are, what are you doing? I didn't because tap out. After I read that, I was like, Jihad, where do I get my keys? Like, what side of the room do you want me to sleep on? Look, me I'm looking at my Pandora here? bracelet. Like, is this the, is this the entry? Because what? Because who? Wait, where do you want me after this? Like, we we go together. We, we go, go together. together. And it's real, real bad. bad. <laughs> you my man. You got no wife and kids and all that. I got them. Don't worry about them. We good over here. Because I'm going to make sure. Well, I'm wife part of the sisterhood at this point. Okay, at this point. What, what, what did Monica rocking. and Brandy say? The boy is mine. No, he's ours. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> ours. We share him. <laughs> we like SZA. You get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Send him my way. I think I got him covered for the weekend. Because he was getting her ass. Literally. He was getting he up. Was surprised though, but I don't know. We we jumping too far ahead. We I know, I know. I was just trying ahead. to set the scene, and I just wanted to know what we was doing after that. Like, what you doing after you experienced this? Like, what what what's your next move? That's what I want to know. Put that in you the know, comments. What I was doing was to put that damn book down and woke my husband up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, I should have put the book. Down. <laughs> you want to be like, was you woke? I I let y'all in my bedroom. Listen, I was like, wow, because she wrote it so good. But anywho, I just wanted to lay that down. So that's 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 the type of book we're dealing with tonight. Okay, I'm not even finna hold y'all. We not finna try to sugarcoat and roll over this. We gonna talk through it. We gonna slow walk it a little bit. But that's the type of book that we're dealing with. This was out the gate. This was like on page ten. Mm -hmm. that we read well, so, this is the so, of so can i um can i okay so first what happened was there uh -huh, was i was gone i just wanted to start okay. set the scene set the mood and um i just want to set the scene set the mood but then we gonna go back and we gonna you know work it out no I, i'm not go gonna tell the book but i'm just saying like we all experienced it different because she dropped the book um right around the holidays it was what new year new d Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this it was it was the beginning of soul ties and mm -hmm. so I was telling you all like y'all gotta read this I'm like I gotta know what happened and mm -hmm. so this book ends at well no not there but anyway so that was the beginning part but then she dropped soul ties and it had all of it in there but I was left hanging I'm like texting y'all at well, two new year, new day. like y'all got to read this Mm -hmm. right it was it was good i hate that she's it not here because she's trying to she get coming. It. She, she coming, coming. She, come. <clears throat> she coming <clears throat> okay i found it y'all <laughs> wait for her wait for her i, I want to know i want to know what she was thinking when she wrote that like what was the inspiration like i ain't yeah. never had i ain't listen okay so let's, let's start, okay let's start from the beginning of the book okay so the beginning of this book starts with um sienna, sienna. talking to her friend on the phone and here she go 
Okay. Her and her friend are, um, you know, having girl talk or whatever. They end up talking about her and her boyfriend and how her boyfriend is not going to be in town for New Year's. Mm-hmm. Right. Her boyfriend's like this big old promoter, Instagram. Yeah, um, influencer. Yeah, he Instagram, right? But he getting promotions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, y'all. Hey, sorry. Hey. I'm sorry. In the building. You look so good. Thank you. Oh. Maybe I'm going to throw my wig real quick. <laughs> You made me want to throw my wig on real quick. <laughs> <laughs> good. Um, so we at the beginning. So we got Miss Candace in the house, y'all. Hey. y'all are, if y'all read this book, she did her thing. Okay. She did. She did her foot yeah. all the way she up in this foot thing. in this book. So Thank you. We start, okay, so who read New Year New D? Patrice read it. And Patrice then I read Soul Ties. Okay. I read it, the, com- the completion. New Year, New D is the beginning of Toll Ties, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you didn't miss nothing if you missed New Year, New D, because I didn't read that. Because no, you told that at the beginning of the book. It was mm-hmm. transition. Okay. What made you write? What made you separate the two, Miss Candice? Hi. New Year, New D. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I had to clean my camera off. Yeah, I can hear you. What made you separate the two? What made you drop New Year, New D, and then follow up with Soul Ties? What made you do it? I kind of wanted to give like a little preview. Because mm-hmm. I'm not looking for it. So I say, you know what? This book going to be kind of long. So I'm just going to drop a little preview. Just like a nice little prologue. Yeah. 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 It worked, and it was you, around the holidays. Too. Yeah. That, that was why like, too. I said I wanted to make it a holiday, uh, like a um, masquerade for New Year's. So, mm. yeah. You had me calling yeah. them at two o'clock in the morning when I finished. I was like, "Cause you, you remember how New Year New D ended?" Yeah, and I was just like, well, "I'm like, y'all, I don't know what to do." <laughs> <laughs> I need to I know. Don't what know what to do with myself. Okay, <laughs> so Sienna is talking to her friend. What's her friend name, y'all? Naoki. 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 Oh yeah, cause she gonna get a book too. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm gonna. I told you. Get out. Get. I told you. Oh, yeah. She's going to get a book too, y'all. She, so, she, got, she got, it's called uh, Infinite Soul Ties. No, nope, that's not Naoki. That's not Naoki. I'm sorry. Give me one uh-huh. second. No, you're fine. She, so, Naoki is, she talking to her friend, right? Mm-hmm. And they talking about her boyfriend, who is the influencer. Mm-hmm. And now, he not going to be there for New Year's. Two years in a row, okay? Two years. So Horrible. they kind of, she kind of setting the scene how Sienna is like going through with how her. she dealing head. with this fuck boy pretty much. That's what yeah. I'm calling Jack and Jack a spade a spade. He a fuck boy. No, 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 yeah. no. He, he yeah. not a, it, I don't know if you all remember this. And maybe I should give away something for this. If it because because Miss Candace said what he is. Okay, it's a B A N. It's a B A N. Yeah. Who in the chat knows what a B A N is? Because that's exactly what yep. Miss Candace said that he was. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Tell so us what the B-A-N first person is. in the chat who could tell us what a B A N is. Um, you're gonna get her new release. That's exactly what he released. He's a B A N. Okay. He's not a horrible guy. He just a ho. He's trying. Yeah, he's trying a little bit, but he's not he giving her everything she needs, including in the bedroom. He's not yeah. here. You out here finessing everybody and flirting and all that, and you're not even putting it down where you need to right. put it down at. We got a winner, Jennifer Franklin. Jennifer Franklin, he's a hey, bitch ass nigga. Jennifer, be honest. Jennifer, be honest. So, Jennifer you are the winner. Oh, y'all on Facebook too? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to see how, how I do that. Oh yeah, oh, we on the phone. Yeah, yeah, we're on the, yeah, we're on the uh, okay. yeah. Let me tag you on the page. Hold on. I and think you I can see that you can see them talking because they gonna talk to you. Oh yeah. Page <laughs> hey, on your author page. Yeah. Oh wait a minute, I'm here. Hmm. So he wait. So how do I? Okay. You got him in okay. handy. Yeah. You got him. Okay. okay. So he be flirting with the girls. She is feeling like he cheated on her before. He did. Right? So that's what Naoki is saying. Like, girl, how do you even know that he going to work? He might be working right. with another hoe or whatever. Because we know his MO. We know what he didn't mm-hmm. did. Right. So Naoki is saying all this, which I wasn't really feeling her on that. I know that's my friend and everything, but I don't need you throwing it up in my face. I already feel exactly. that he's not going to no, be here. No. She, she wasn't doing it either, though. I 
feel like you was a fake friend if I don't if I don't keep that. Not a fake friend, but don't make me feel bad. I don't know. No. My man already ain't gonna but be here. She was feeling that way too. She was telling her friend that, that she mm-hmm. was worried about it. She was mad too, and she kept accusing him. And so whenever she would see him at home, he like you on this shit again. He was like, mm-hmm. I I love you and I'm with you and all of this kind of stuff. She get home, he ain't there. Yeah. Yeah. So when she leave work on this particular Thank day, you, so first thing is we don't know what she do for work, right? But that's gonna be real important later on. Right. She uh, <laughs> just left orientation. Yeah. Just left orientation. <laughs> oh, she had just left orientation. Yeah, it was orientation. New job. Okay, new at the job. Okay. Orientation for new job. It's snowing outside, and she walk up to her car, and the door envelope on the window and she like this this shit is crazy as hell you know they be trying to sex traffic people putting shit on your car i'm gonna leave it there (laughs) you know you know you know how it go you pass out or somebody that's Mm -hmm. trying to get it off your windshield but what tripped her out it had her name spilled on the envelope yeah. But she like, damn, bitch, I got a sofa out here. What is it? <laughs> uh-uh, no, she was hoping that it was from uh what's her boot name? Amiri. 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 She was hoping it was from him. And so she got mm-hmm. kind of excited, like, oh, okay, girl. And he put a little thought into this. He changed yes. his ways. Horrible. When are you from him? <laughs> And then she got her feelings hurt. I know, I know how it be, girl. <laughs> I ain't judging you. I ain't judging you. Then she got feelings hurt because it wasn't from him. But what, oh. was what was it? What did she? It was do? an invitation. It was okay. an invitation what? to uh, Pandora with the with the, uh, with the code that she needed to call to confirm her reservation. So did she know what Pandora was to begin with? Mm-mm. No, no but uh, so. Naoki told her. So what the funny was. part was she didn't want to do it. So she told Naoki, you can do it. You can go, girl. <laughs> and they shit. was like, no, this is not who the inv- they they were like, what's the invitation? No, Naoki was yeah. trying to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Naoki Naoki like, no, no but we gotta talk about what not Pandora transferable. is. Miss Candace, <laughs> what um is um Pandora? It's a and have you ever been to one? No. I want to go. Can I get I an invitation? Can I no. get an invitation? <laughs> no, I it's a go. place for people with desires. <laughs> with, with certain <laughs> sexual proclivities. The <laughs> sex club. Yeah. Sex club. It's people go there to get their backs blown out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Whatever Any you kind of way, about. however. Right. Yeah. So um, I love how, how clean live. it is because before you go, you got to get your mm-hmm. not blood work. Well, you got to get your you know. Yeah, it's got your STD it. screenings, yeah. everything. So when you get there, you're clean, so you all can be as free as mm-hmm. you need or want to be. Mm-hmm. So she's not going to go to this sex club because she thinks that she's in a committed relationship with a faithful man. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. A turn of events happened, and this fateful man got a baby on the way. <laughs> got a baby on the way, and she found out in the worst way. How she found out? Jennifer would be hurt. I can't remember. I don't want to. Jennifer gonna. Come it was a mess. It was on her on his phone. Yeah. It was, but I I don't want to tell it word for word because you know I'm gonna add my own spin in that, and Jennifer gonna come for me in the comments. <laughs> 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 Just know niggas be slipping and he got drunk and girl she went through that telephone. So that 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 second telephone. Mm-hmm. And you know, you go looking for trouble, you're gonna find it every time. And but she wasn't really looking for it though. She wasn't looking for no baby. It was a second phone. Well, it was a sex phone. A, a second, second phone. phone. He oh. had two phones. Mm-hmm. So she um, was like, what's okay. this? Okay, that's no. why she looked at it. Uh, it kept going off. It kept mm-hmm. going off. And then, and but he girl, still tried to lie when she confronted him. I'm like, ain't that crazy? That's, that's, how how you know. that's how they be. That that's how they be. That deny, deny. I'm like, <laughs> you got a baby on the way. Like, you really, okay. But so she anyway. was tired at this point. She was like, I'm done. You done did this to me before. I've been suspecting this, but I've been giving you the benefit of the doubt. I'm done, right? And you fucking mm-hmm. this bitch wrong. And you fucking me wrong on the slim to none chances we do have sex. We ain't use a protection. Horrible. <laughs> for it. Just put it out like, there. That's just trifling. It Tell is. 
Make so she leaves leave and she is pissed. She pissed, she mad, she hurt, she feel betrayed, all this and that. So if you're feeling like this and you got this invitation to this exclusive club <laughs> to go get your you back. You want your leg back. Yeah. No, she didn't want her leg back. I don't think yeah, she, she did. She wanted she want her leg back. I don't think she wanted her leg back. She, she wanted to have like, fun. You know what? It's time right. for me to do me. I don't, yeah. I'm a, I'm a by the book type of girl. I don't do a, do a lot of crazy stuff. She's mm -hmm. not even the one who want to be in a club all the time. She was like, she kind of yeah, like wants. a chill person. She said, it's mm -hmm. time for me to step out and mm -hmm. do something new, try something new. I'm going to see what this about. So she right. called and then she, I was going to call it chokers. That's another book. Somebody else. Yeah, that's, that's another sex club. That's, uh, <laughs> that's uh, danger. Uh -huh, oh, yeah. So she called on Pandora. I love that you read. I, I, I read when I can. I can see that you be reading. You be reading the same stuff we read. When right. I can, I really can't. <laughs> what can I do? That's good. That's a blitz. So she called Pandora at the last minute because it and was all red. Confirm her reservation, and she got in. She had to get mm -hmm. it. She had just had her STD testing miraculously right before. <laughs> well, now you know what time it is when you find out your nigga cheating. Now, that's the yeah. first call you make. Mm -hmm. Let me go get it right. checked out. You be sitting, sitting, sitting in the clinic. Especially like when you got somebody pregnant. This exactly. is some bullshit. Yeah. So you she got everything testing all that ready to go. She called the sex up. She's like, I'm in this thing. So mm -hmm. she's talking, Naoki talking her through it like, bitch, you got to go, go, go. Go, go, go do, do it. Go be free. free. Okay. Go be liberated. Like, go be free. Do your thing. She wasn't judging her. Girl, take one for me too. If you want to <laughs> walk up, give me one too. <laughs> so she like turn her on. So you supposed to put on a mask when you go in the club, right? Mm -hmm. Well, no, but, but, but you, you gotta mask introduce mask. you gotta okay. introduce us to um jihad because they because oh. he's introduced to yes. us. Oh, right, right, right. This that's when, oh wait, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we talk I about oh, we talk about Stia. Okay, so, so just, I mean, catch us up real story. quick on who he is and get us to Pandora's. Okay, <laughs> so okay, real quick, fine black man dealing with his jihad wife is like. He like a he like a boss ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? He just a straight, he's like a man's man. No, I, I say <laughs> this for a reason. Because he is like he that that man had the weight of the world on his shoulders. Like everybody was looking at him, everybody was turning to him. And he felt like he had nobody, you know, to be his safe haven, nobody to be his refuge, nobody to throw a life raft to him. He was Haitian, right? Out. And he was Haitian. Yeah. He was Haitian. He, was and Haitian. he believes okay, in so family. He believes mm -hmm. in family. And his family. He yep. is married and he loves his wife. Okay. He like loves his wife. He loves, he loves his wife. He put the temperature on in the tub. He loves his family, period. <laughs> yeah. Because he, you know, he put I'm, I'm talking shit. about this wife. We're going to talk about the wife because he yeah. loves her. We just want to mm -hmm. talk about that. And his wife, who is on bed rest because she has had multiple miscarriages. Now, this mm -hmm. little in the world so he was yeah almost took me out with this but <laughs> she had multiple miscarriages she has to stay in the bed literally all day she can't really go I think anywhere she can have 20 she minutes is it, somewhere. is it 20 minutes yeah, outside of the bed per day yeah. mm -hmm. right <clears throat> so that's where she is so she is literally going crazy like for real like I felt her pain. Was going stir crazy. Ooh, I just loved how you wrote this book. But I felt her because you was letting us into her. Like it would have been easy to judge her and be like, what the fuck? He loves her. Right. He want to be with you and only you. But you let us in her head so yeah. that we could see what she was going through too. Initially, okay? were you going to give her a point of view? Why are we talking about her briefly? Yeah, but I didn't want to give it to her and do your new deed because that would have been too much. And yeah. it, she didn't really have much going on in her life because she was mm -hmm. only a kid. So mm -hmm. I didn't feel like she had nothing to say until Sienna showed up. Mm, okay. Like when she showed up, then she had nothing to say. Mm -hmm. You know, because then and I, I, I appreciated that because mm -hmm. I really felt conflicted, baby. Because I felt like, you know, because when, when he took the hard pass, then it was something hard to say. When he yeah, took the hard right. pass, it right. was like, you know, I didn't want to keep talking about the same thing with her being in the bed and right. the yeah, hard and pass. She, and it was like, okay. Wow. Yeah. So he, he got this he wife really that he loved to her. a lot. He what, Patrice? I was just saying he really tended to her when she was he like, did. "Express, yeah. you know, like, 
all all it is like her being in this bed and she's got she only has so many minutes a day mm-hmm. and and she in order for the baby to live uh, to have a slim chance of living she's got to do this and he really he he really caters to her but at the same time you do get a little bit of that she's not giving him anything mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then you learn more as you go is that mm-hmm. so right now I feel like he's a bank and all it, there's no deposits it's just withdraw 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 mm-hmm. and yeah. how much can a man take exactly. now she's going to take us to this past thing because that that is introduced okay so she's on bed rest she is miserable okay they all miserable the whole physically. house is miserable not just physically but mentally she is mm-hmm. miserable okay and so because she's miserable she's doing miserable stuff Mm -hmm. one of the things that she does is she gives she's insisting insisting that her husband takes this hall pass okay guys and a hall pass for anyone who does not know (laughs) is where you give your spouse husband or wife a pass to go out one time to be with somebody else you get one pass okay release okay because she's not able to please him physically she's driving him crazy giving that she lackluster ass head. because she did show a little bit of remorse okay for the way she was treating him she was treating him like crap okay she, she felt like i'm gonna let you have this and he like no i don't want to do that i love you they I were getting you. into actual not physical but altercations about this mm-hmm. like they like she was mad at him like but really not doing crazy. Like, I, and it's like it was crazy because it's like i want you to fuck somebody else Go find somebody and but he was right though. She just she was trying to manipulate the situation. No, mm. but that's why I said she was she was she was having some issues. And when you in those states, you had mm. all the miscarriages. Her hormones was probably all jacked up. I sympathize with her. Yeah, you know, she was in the bed. You know, she was going a little stir crazy for real. And she so was obsessed with having a child, and that you put your marriage at risk just to have yeah. a baby after he didn't already say it. I'm okay with not having kids. Or we yeah. can do a different route, but you insisted on having this baby. And, so, okay, so you insisted like on having this baby. Mm-hmm. It'd be like that as a man. She's woman. insisting on him uh, on having a baby. I get that. She's insisted on him having a past, and she's insisted on having her friend in their home who he does not like, who does not like him. And she keeps this girl around and this girl gets on her nerves, but mm-hmm. she still keep them around. But that's why I say she's doing miserable things. Yeah. Exactly. A lot of stuff that she's doing, is, is, it has to do with she's miserable. So she's doing miserable mm-hmm. stuff. So she's insisting that he take this pass. Finally, he say, fuck it. I'm going to take the pass. Show me where the bitch is at. No, he got his brother and his brother <laughs> belongs to Pandora. Pandora. Yeah. And the brother, like, boy, you got this. Well, I got you. Like, I got you. Like, I got you. I know Don't where the place you can go. I know where they be at. Okay. Mm-hmm. So his brother, I know what a free said. Get him <laughs> into the club Pandora. Okay. And who does he meet while he's there? So I got a couple of things I want to say about this, Miss Candace. Why he was so judgmental? I was mad about that. Who? John. John? Well, working through Pandora's? Yes. Because he's not like that at all. Yeah. He gets reserved. He's very, very, very reserved. Uh-huh. So that was like, and then everybody mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. yeah, like what? And he he's thinking of his wife. Huh? And he's thinking of his wife at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And it's like he just that was not his atmosphere at all. But like he wanted something that was safe, uh, discreet. So he had to do that. He didn't want to go to a regular bar and meet some random girl. So he had to take that route. But he don't, he's not into that at all. So like with Sienna, she was just like, oh my God, look at this. Like she was excited because it was like something new for her. So mm-hmm. she wasn't like very uncomfortable like that. But him, he like, the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? Right. Because he don't like, he's like, that was just a whole different type of situation. So yeah. where did you get your inspiration for the club? Because the club was nice. The club nice girl. Y'all nobody gotta know. (laughs) Just gonna say Twitter. (laughs) Just send me the evite. We just did her research. 
Look, if you've been there, just blink two times. <laughs> <laughs> and no, but you painted it up north. You painted an amazing picture of the club. I could see the club. I could see the people. I could see the girl um, when she first walked in getting gang banged. Then we <laughs> find out later she knew, <laughs> right? So crazy, just, right? Um, all of that. Baby, and she was not getting gang man. She was in control of both of those penises. And mm-hmm. she 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 pulled a um who was Crave? What's the girl name? I'm Crave. Oh, I got the lady name. Poly- that was like a polyamory. Yeah, one. honey. They lady on Crave. Reverse harem. Reverse, um, harem. reverse oh, harem. Yeah, honey. That lady was in control of them both of them penises while she was <laughs> laying down there. She was not getting gang bang. <laughs> okay, well, I stand correct. He learned from free. <laughs> he was in control. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, Sienna goes in, she gets her drink. Okay, so both of them, their mind is like, I don't really know if I should. This be. is a fucking freak show. That's, right. I think that's what they were thinking. <laughs> this ain't my thing. You know, yada, 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 right? Until, the until they see each, each other. other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Jahai wasn't really like on her like that he was but he wasn't because he was like he was uncomfortable with it he didn't want to really do it but you he see was how he was trying to he was ready to leave but when she came to the bar he was like oh shit like I'm not leaving now it was like, like this, <laughs> it was like this attraction it was like this yeah. energy yeah, yeah it was instant for him too let's talk about yeah. the energy let's talk about the energy because they got a lot to do with the book the energy it, does have like a lot it was feeling, it was like an electric pool. A soul tie. Mm-hmm. And yeah. they never even met, right, Miss Candace? Like before no. this, they never met. No. So they just saw each time. other at the sex club and it's just like. But see, because oh. I was always told soul ties happen after you have sex. Are you saying that soul ties can happen before? Ooh. It's different. It's time? different levels to it. Mm-hmm. It's different levels to it. Like before I started the book, I did like my research on it mm-hmm. and it's like like on a spiritual level it's like some certain people come to your life at certain times certain time periods in your life and when you do have sex obviously the attraction the soul tie gets stronger but mm-hmm. sometimes it's you know like an energy thing so mm. it don't have to be have like you ever had a soul tie? All the time. huh have you ever had one no no i ain't either <laughs> no maybe maybe i don't know, I don't know. y'all had one when you be feeling like you on crack, <laughs> is that the, the one where you that outside, look, so you outside in the dark in the rain with a with a flashlight, looking for him with some flip flops on in the window. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> You're like, where this nigga at? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so they see each other. Okay, they see each other. They feeling each other. First of all, I forgot my one question. In the comments, if you're watching this, are you giving passes? Like, for real. She could not please her husband. She was in dire, you know, she was Mm -hmm. in a a bad way. And what from what was said in the book, Miss Candace, is this is a a, a common thing that women do. They give their husband's passes. They do. It's so, Mm -hmm. we're giving passes in the Black Girl Book Club podcast, okay? Mm -hmm. So, let us know. So, they give the pass. Who, me? If mm. I, if 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 I was in her way, I'm like, I'm not giving no pass. You ain't giving no pass. I was sick for a year. When I say a I year, use my mouth. sick, sick for a year. <laughs> pass. No, it wasn't no fucking passes. You gonna sit right here and get? I've been helping other ways. Ruin, man. You give me my orange. But she too. didn't want to help in other ways. Yeah, she, she didn't want to, nine. but I will. <laughs> you know, because like some people think that like sex is everything and all that which in this case it, it did backfire on her but mm-hmm. you know like it's it's people can have soul ties like you just said without having sex mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. i don't know I, oh, I was, yeah. this sex that they I had ain't even a pass. it was like when he penetrated her I feel like sparks must have flew. Or it was a yeah. transformer it blew in the neighborhood. Because that was next level. This was the most explosive yeah. like yeah. ever. ever. That's so it. Wow. they see each other. How did it come about that they was going with like, um, you know, who said, come on, let's go back there to the room? Him? Yeah. Yeah. She was about to walk off. Mm-hmm. She was like, she felt like he was like rejecting her. Like she was like, okay, right. let me go ahead and leave. And he stopped 
But in actuality, it was just his inner turmoil about yeah. doing it because he, once again, he didn't want to do it. Mm-mm. So he was like, you know, come on, girl, you know, were you so feeling they, what I'm feeling? Sex, he literally drank from her. That's what I say. Okay, y'all, let me read it. Let me read it real quick. Okay. <laughs> this is Jahai, y'all. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> my damn, I just lost it again. Okay. Oh my God, y'all. Okay, here we go. I grabbed her. Wait a minute, hold on. I grabbed her hips and positioned my penis in her vagina. This ain't what it said, y'all, but I'm saying it here. She tits up as soon as I put the head in. I was all right with it because I needed a minute to get my. It's not Jacoby. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I only had the tip in and knew off back that it was good and it tasted good. She was wet enough to take every. Your phone, your computer froze. You're going no, on. she did not freeze on this. <laughs> she froze on it. No, she did not freeze. She froze on it. Oh my God. You know what? Because it just ain't right. It's yeah. just right to, to Patrice to, is supposed to do the sex thing. Uh, you know what? This is she is not. I am the bedroom <laughs> translator, not Shaquana, and that's how um, she has frozen. Yeah, but anyway. Oh my God. So but anyway, a second. That scene was just so. Honey, I had to put the book down. Because <laughs> I, I want to say that he was—he he was having—he was—he was, he was, he was, he was, uh, was, he was eating her from behind. He was taking and, all his frustrations out, yeah. like all his energy. It was just transferring over into her. All mm-hmm. this pent up, but like he made love to her. They really did. Seriously, right. and you're not supposed to do that with anybody but your wife or your significant other. And the fact you, that he made love to her. You would think they knew each other. For real. It was chemistry immediately. Like, um, just one second. Um, Candace, for some reason, I think you were made host. And yeah, you see she was kind of trying to get in. Can you let her in? How, I don't how know what that? happened. How? Uh it's, it's you, should, you should see something like in the top right hand corner, and it should tell you that somebody is trying to get in. You'll see her name. I don't know how I made you the host. I don't mm, don't see nothing. Okay, there she is. She's coming. There she is. Oh, I was scared. (laughs) What made you what what made you write it like that, Miss Candace? Like, why did you write it like that? Real real on me. You know what, Shaquana, what we said is that you are not the bedroom translator. And I think that just the overall general theme was like, what the hell do she think she doing? Nah. <laughs> you still got it queued up. Go ahead and read it. Because now you got us wanting to hear it. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a minute, y'all. Uh-uh, keep going. What y'all was saying? What made you write it like they were making love? Like, was... Is it just like what the characters needed at that moment or were they truly making love? And didn't Because I wanted to, you know, the soul tie. I wanted them to have a connection. Tire. I wanted them to have a connection and he needed that. He did need he it. definitely needed that. She did too. They both needed that. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely so, correct. They, so they, they, they needed each other. So, what they, 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 they made love. They, need, they needed each other. They did. Hmm. It was like they had a hungry love. Uh, they passionate. Um, he fucked her. He slutted her. He out. Did he? he? Yes. Yeah, he did everything to her. Like he had her in every way. He had yeah. her in every way that he could have her. And he drank from her and he ate her like it was a meal. Like he yeah. couldn't stop. Like normally it's it like, was like it was his last meal. meal. Like, it's like, <laughs> it was it's his me. last meal. And he on death row. <laughs> and I'm pushing you down. I don't want you to stop. But it was him who couldn't stop eating her. Because it was, was he that surprised? Yes, yes. He had, like I don't know if I who, who uh, no. I think no, not New Yorkie. Uh, Layton said he had an aggressive appetite. That's what she meant. Like he had a very mm-hmm. sexual appetite. Yes. And what you learn because we don't have a whole lot of time, but what you no, learn is, is that the love that like the sex that he was having with his wife, you end up finding out later that she was having 
she was really having sex with him just to get pregnant. So the mm-hmm. sex with him was just like, come it, on. Yeah, it was never, he hadn't been, it hadn't been passionate for a long time. Hadn't been passionate oh, for a long time. Years. So he, this is bottled up, just frustration. Just like, mm, just like, get in there. Get in I feel there. so bad. I've never mm. wanted the side piece to end up with the main male character so bad. I felt so conflicted. I was conflicted I now. Uh-uh. So Initially. they have this magical night. Okay? Mm. It was magical. I, I ain't they gonna say it. Shirley season night. Is it Shirley season? Shirley yeah. Murdoch night. What? They slept the okay. night away. We, we forgot okay. about tomorrow anyway. as we lay. I thought you was talking about like you know. I thought you were talking about Shirley. <laughs> like, no. I don't know about that. But anywho, so they have this really good, passionate night of love making. I'm gonna do my scene, yeah, but we just gonna get through this book real quick. So they have this passionate night of love making, right? So then they both go their separate ways. You go to this club, you go home, it's done. You it's done, done right? But they still thinking about each other. They can't stop thinking about each other. They can't get it out of his they head. You think know about her and his dick get hard. Right, mm-hmm. like everything, you know, they just thinking about each other, can't stop thinking about each other. So then her new job that she was at orientation for. He <laughs> word, so, she didn't use her real name. She used her friend's name, Naoki. Naoki name. So right. when he's looking to hire help, he does, he would have realized the name Naoki, but that wasn't the name that she used at the sex club. She mm-hmm. and So her name is Sienna. So when he hears that a Sienna is coming to take care of his wife because he's going to get a... um. Doula. A, doula. a doula yeah he doesn't realize who it is and so they like like so she comes in and she's introduced her friend is there being a bitch and all of that kind of stuff and so she comes upstairs and comes into the room and in she their bedroom and Layton you know is is like uh, Layton the, is his wife did we say that Layton is his wife yeah. I didn't know if the soul tie was between at first Jihad and Layton Layton and and Sienna, or I wasn't sure who it was, all of was because it was she all of fell them. in love with her too. Yeah. Not in love like sex, but wait, she but we didn't even too. tell them like how it's happened. So she they went to the sex club, they had sex, it was passionate, they can't stop thinking about each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just started this new job. Okay. It's her first day on the job for real. She done with orientation. This is her first client that she ever get through this job. Mm-hmm. She's a doula. Okay, she walks in this house. I got me a new job. I'm a new woman. I done left that nigga alone. Blah blah blah. Right. I got me a new good place. Sex. Yeah, me boom, bam. Walk in the house. Walk in the room. Who she see? The sex god. Well, no, he <laughs> walks out the room. He, no, he, he was out of the bathroom. He came out of the bathroom. He came out of the bathroom. He walked out the bathroom. And they no, wait. He was he was there. Next he was sitting the down. Was he sitting down? He was sitting right there. That's what I thought. He was sitting down next to the bed. Other. Another scene, he walked in the bathroom. A different Yeah, and he was naked. And he was naked. Yeah. yeah. So he walk in the room and he see, she sees her new client and her sex guy that she had at this club that was drinking from her fountain all night. <laughs> okay. What do you do at this point? Do you run? Or do you be professional? Or do you, what do you do? Bitch, I would have ran. <laughs> this is so <laughs> I would have ran. <laughs> I can't even look at his wife in the face knowing what me and your husband just did the night prior. Miss Ka- Miss Candace, I'm like, she didn't change her motherfucking job occupation. She's lying. She's <laughs> not a doula. She is stalking this man. Stalking and that man. <laughs> and that's what he was thinking. That's what he was thinking. Like, this that's, what was thinking. that's what I was thinking. Right. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm like, oh, hell no. She didn't went to the local. <laughs> she didn't got her ass good. So mm-hmm. this is her job. She going to be professional. Okay, this is where my confliction come in, right? I wasn't conflicted at the sex club because the wife gave him the pass. You know, mm-hmm. she was trying to get her freak on. Boom, boom, pow. This is where my confliction came in because it's like, no, you is not finna sit up in this lady house in her face okay now she knew what had happened between y'all that's one thing but she's the only one who's in the mm-hmm. door about this you know and mm-hmm. he know you got to go <laughs> you you got to go you're not gonna be sitting up here taking care of me that's the ultimate no Man, she, needed the money. Money. she needed the money. money she had that high rent all the other clients weren't paying nothing she had bills she was stuck between the rock and the heart he offered to pay her contract though. He offered. But she to pay was her like, her. "All right, this ain't that. 
I'm true to my you profession. You wrote this I good, Miss Candice, because you you laid it all out. She talking about, mm -mm. nah, I can't do that. I'm not, you can't pay me off. <laughs> yeah, I want to share my quote in this book, in my thing, my notes. Say, girl, get out that fucking lady house. <laughs> get out that fucking house. <laughs> so she takes the job. He's like, look, we're going to keep this strictly professional. You know, we ain't going to. Hey, look, we're gonna leave what happened. You're saying before. this, but your feelings and your mental and your emotions are saying something completely different. And but you're saying libido. it. And your, and your libido, libido. Is something different. Okay. Because she got that wop. <clears throat> it's something different. But mm. they did, they was able to hold out for a while. You know, they was avoiding how many, how many, how long? Two days. Oh, maybe a month. But, two was, days. But, but you know, they was past brushing up against each other in the hall. It was literally like two days. I'm bringing her what juice up. Yes. Well, at least like a month, Miss. She was only there for a week. No, but Sienna was only there for like three or four days. Before that, it was a long, those, them, chap, them chapters was long. It was really? only like three days. Damn, my day is in the benefit of the doubt. Yep. So, so what happens about a week. is they end up, um, it ends up being a snowstorm. Ooh. Yeah, it ends up being yeah. a snowstorm, and so she is trying to go home. She don't want to stay because she's trying she, her hardest. Because they, they're, they're coming to each other. It's magnetic between them. Like they are fighting it so hard, and they both want mm -hmm. each other so they're bad. Like two ships passing in the night. They gotta be this way, you know. And, he's, and so leaving, he's trying to stay coming. away. He's trying to stay away, and she and it's just magnetic. Like they can't help mm -hmm. it. So when that snowstorm comes, she was like, "I'm look." She driving like a Nissan Sentra or something. <laughs> she was like, I cannot stay. I'm I not staying in this house. I gotta yeah. get out. I gotta go. Miss Candace, we know because we live in Michigan. So we familiar with this type of weather. Mm -hmm. And so she says she gonna go home. She gets stuck. He doesn't he's trying to stay bitch. away from the house when she's there. So he figures she will be gone. I'm gonna come home. He see her stuck. And My he was question like, is, Candace, why she didn't leave, leave before the snow came? You know the snow was coming in. You should have left way before the damn snow then, came. Then, who, what's the guy's name? The nephew told her it was snoring. She didn't really realize how bad it was how snoring. Bad it was. Like, you know, she was busy with laying, talking, you know, working. She didn't know it was that bad until she got yeah. out there. Because her and Layton is developing a relationship. Her and the they wife. Have a real good relationship. They have a woman-to-woman talks and sisterly talks. Woman she woman. sits up in this woman face. Do you think she was playing in her face doing that? Or do you think it was like a friendship? You know? No, because look, Sienna really cared about her. I think she so. Did. Yeah, that's, that's why I wrote it like that. Like, Sienna didn't have any, like, hate in her heart towards Layton. Like, the way that she felt about her was genuine. What happened was just an inconvenience. She just and so he fell in home. love with her and his wife fell in love with her. Huh. And she was late. I mean, not Layton, but Sienna was sensitive to her situation because I believe she had been through like yeah. situations. Yeah. 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 That's why yeah. so she became a doula to help people like mm -hmm. her. So she really did professionally want to help her. But I mm -hmm. guess her young mind wasn't telling her that I need to get out this woman's house. Yeah. Because she so, was young. I want to say she was like, what, 25, 26? And they was like in their 30s. Mm -mm. Jaha was almost 30. Yeah. So she's de developing huh? a relationship with the wife. The wife is becoming somewhat obsessed with her. He clingy. It's a yeah. little bit of weird to me. How the wife you know, I wouldn't say it was weird because she didn't have nobody else. And when you get to Layton's point of view, she says that I done ran off all my friends and the only one that stayed was... Farrah. Right, fair, and she was fine. toxic and so Sienna was like a breath of fresh air like oh my god right. we got so much in common she's so nice she's so sweet right. she's she's, she's helping me and ooh, 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 so right I like her because remember she done went through what five or six doulas before yeah got to and she end. finally found one that she connected with and she quit she wanted to keep her Okay, so we got to talk about this. Um, we got to talk about this Oh my god, oh my god, come on, bad trip. So, so the thing is, so the thing is, she ends up coming back because of the snowstorm. He stopped her, no, he picked her up. He helped her, he helped her get out, and he took actually, he left her car down there, brought her up to the house in his car, and and his wife was like, I told her to stay, and yada, yada. So they put her in the room, like next door to the right of their room. 
Mm-hmm. And, and, the, and so he's, you know, he's in there with his wife. He can't sleep. His dick hard. She, she mm-hmm. knocked out and he just like, oh my gosh. But anyway, what so. What the fuck am I going to do? So he goes into his study to drink. She doesn't know he's there. So she was like, she can't sleep. She tossing and turning. So she go downstairs. Oh, you forgot something. What? What we forget? I'm sorry. Remember he was mad because he invited um, Layton for dinner and she invited oh, him. That was That's why he was in the study. That's why he was in his office. Because yeah, she was being a her. bitch. And she it was like, he, right. he was trying to do something nice for his wife. And she called herself being funny and bringing and having Sienna come. Sienna mm-hmm. felt uncomfortable and all of that. And it put her. Table. He and so this the is a bad, bad situation table. for her, too, because she borderline, like, as she watches him love his wife, it's making her fall in love with him, too. Mm-hmm. And so that night when she can't sleep, she goes to the kitchen because they've told her she can have some alcohol or whatever. She and a nice she drinks, big old wine she drinks a in. whole bottle of wine. She sits there and she's crying. <laughs> you know, she starts crying and she's like sad about her life, her man cheating on her, you know, about just different things. She's upset and she's crying. And he's in the office on the cameras watching her. Watching her. And so he sees her and he said, you know, he wants to go and conveniently bump into her because he knows everything that's happening. So he goes down there. And and of course she has this moment. You know how they all do. Like let me go. Like I'm trying to go upstairs, and, mm-hmm. and he grabs her. You know, and she has to drink and all of that kind of stuff. But the beautiful thing that happens. What happens, Patrice? Is they end up. You know. He oh wait a minute. Up, Hold up. Before you say that, the wife is upstairs asleep. Yeah, the pregnant upstairs. Is upstairs. So the man rest is upstairs sleep. Upstairs. Go ahead. Let's see. He doesn't have any guilt at this point. He's pissed at her, and he says, "Fuck her." He won't hurt. He was like, he don't care if she mm-hmm. catch him at this point. So fuck it all. They start to kiss and they start to touch. And he don't care that they is in his kitchen slash dining area, mm-hmm. and he starts to kiss her, and he. Um, he drinks from her again. Though his he, no, 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 Patrice, you glazing over it. Hold on, no, hold on, you glazing over it. He puts her on Layton Island. She perfectly made this kitchen to her design. Like this mm-hmm. is Layton's room in the house was the kitchen, and this island was her prized possession. And he put Sienna up <laughs> on that girl's wow. island. And ate her like she was a seven course feast on this lady Allen. Oh from my god, that's so bad. He, and he and he licked that her. That shit from, was so hot. He licked her from her butt crack all the way. He licked everything that she had. And everything. then when she <laughs> felt like she untouched. couldn't take any more, he took his pajama pants off that he had on and if if you all remember in this book he talks about his length he was like when he was a young boy he he said everybody <laughs> measures their dick he said you know the comcast remote mm-hmm. he, you know the, the 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 air freshener bottle he was like he don't know what size he is now but he know that he's blessed and he he has her up on that counter and he opens her up and mm-hmm. he opens her and she's he's giving her multiple <laughs> orgasms, but he's trying to back to back. Right? And so they are having the most beautiful. They making love. They not fucking. They have on the It's like it's every time they have on this on this, um, on this island, on this island that costs all of this money in this kitchen. <laughs> the wine is right beside them. And so this is the crazy part. What's crazy part, Patricia? This was so, so good, Miss Cat. Is this crazy, was, like girl. right here? I put the book down. So. <laughs> So, so so they having sex and he close. She didn't already came a couple times. The light comes on, right? He can't stop <laughs> fucking her. He come. He and come soon as the accident. lights come on, he busts. And he can't stop. Me. And he can't stop. <laughs> you broke that. Happen. Girl, I was like, oh I my God, you can do that. I had to put the, I had to close the book, put the book down, turn my phone off because I was like, I ain't know who it was, who had came. I in thought, well, I, girl, I thought it was a damn wife. I was like, oh my God. She oh, called. Fear it and snuck her ass back in. I'm like, these motherfuckers then got caught in the <laughs> city kitchen. It's gonna go down. This lady up here on bed rest can lose her baby at any given moment. And this man is down here busting the doula down on that on that alley. He busted her up when the lights came on. Who does that? That's got to be the best and the worst feeling at the same time. You know, and he's like, I didn't even mean to. I was gonna pull like, out. I'm coming mm-hmm. and I can't stop. 
the lights coming on. I don't know who's seeing us, but I can't stop. And she wasn't trying to move either. And so he had to go to completion because you know when you, you don't just come, boom, I came. No, that's a that's that that's like some spurts. It's a string. <laughs> it happens. It's like a guitar string when you pluck it. <laughs> the sound don't stop immediately. It's like don't. It don't. <laughs> Keep going and going. Patrice is so <laughs> okay, so <laughs> okay, this happens. Okay, in scene. So we don't know who it is. It's the housekeeper. <laughs> the housekeeper. <laughs> the housekeeper. Thank the Lord. I was so glad. <laughs> now, I already said get out this woman's house once. I put again in the thing, get the fuck out this lady's house. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ava, is it Aveline? Evelyn? Evelyn. Yeah, Evelyn. Miss Evelyn then caught them fucking on the house. Damn. People called him. So it wasn't as bad. And he he wasn't yeah. even like what you mean it wasn't as bad. Hold on. It now. Would have been the wife. It was bad. Miss Evelyn was like his grandma. It's like your grandma catching you fucking. Because she yeah, gave him yeah. a talk after that, but she, she felt did. Deanna felt so bad that she was like, I can't come back because they looking at her now. She's mm-hmm. like, I can't come back. So she turned before she leaves. She leaves her resignation. But hold on, Miss Miss Aveline told her on the front end. You know, bitch, you here for a job. No, Remember this was it. after the fact. After mm. she came back, it was she after the fact. It was back. after the fact. Okay, my bad. So she quit. She quit after she this. quit. She was like, I quit. You know, I don't care if I gotta go work for pennies, whatever. I quit. This is messed up. I can't. Late no lost more. her mind. No, wait, no, but hold on, hold on, hold it, hold it. I want to read what Miss Aveline told this. And this was the realest shit I've ever heard. I heard, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, read that. Before. He said, how do you, she said, don't, pretty much don't let the devil tempt you and Terry, uh, and Terry, blah, blah, blah. But she, uh, basically he said, what do you, what don't you know is that old stuff holds a lot of value. You only let go of the old things no longer serves your mental, spiritual, and emotionally. The physical, she waved off. The physical, my son, is weak. Eventually, the physical breaks down. At the end of the day, the only thing all of us are going to be with, with us, I mean, with, is this. If your heart ain't in it and it's not serving your mental, spiritual, and emotional level, then it's not you. Until then, hold on until your hand bleeds, son. You don't want to make the mistake of letting go too early just because something newer and shinier comes along. So what do y'all think about that holding on to your hands, please? Because that's 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 a bit that was real. Because that's, he, that's, he wasn't in the thick of his marriage. That, that's, that's I mean, I agree with it because it's like hold on so you can't hold on no more. Because it's like at that point, it's like, okay, I'm done. I didn't I didn't hold on for as long as I could. So your hands bleed though? But he was miserable, but I feel like what people don't realize and what they're missing was he was miserable before the pregnancy. Mm. He was miserable way before she got pregnant, way before she got to put on bed rest. I want to say she was, he was miserable for about what two, three years before yeah. before this. His mm-hmm. hands was bleeding. His hands was bleeding, yeah. and then he's also having the pressure from his family and being, I guess you could say. The head nigga in charge, he was the person over their mafia, over, you know, over their connection. And then he was grieving. The drug he was, he was tired. And mm-hmm. then she got that hole in their house. Mm-hmm. Her friend who don't like him. It's like, you know what? You're not going to be in my house. And you don't, I mean, like, you don't live here. You ain't paying no bills. Look, he, he had no nice to let her hang around. He had okay, no so he quit. She quit, y'all. She quit after they had sex. So then she go work for another family being, she wasn't a dude, yeah, but she, she was, was a nanny. Else, like a babysitter or she something. She was a nanny. Yeah. yeah, like a nanny. Okay, so boom, she went, he, he's gone his separate ways. He's like, I'm glad she gone, but they still missing each other. They still want to be together, want to mm-hmm. be together, yada, yada, yada. And yada. Layton is giving him hell in the process. Oh. She misses Sienna so fucking much. No, we didn't talk about how she feel after she, how she was angry at him for taking the giving, pass. because he took the pass she, they went they dang near came the blows about this pass he took the pass and then she got even angrier at him because she said he shouldn't have took it right she didn't take no ownership at all. but that was so real to me though miss candace that was real because that's like something uh, uh 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 you know somebody who ain't 
rocking all the way right make up. that make sense miss candace why would you get mad at me for taking the pass if you kept forcing me and pressuring me to take right. the pass? i it's was kinda... conflicted with that though because it's like at the end of the day i don't care what she he, was saying you no, still a grown no, man I remember too before he took the pass they had just had a really big argument and she yeah. was like like disregarding his, his feelings towards the miscarriages she had like mm-hmm. like just treat him like trash Farrah had just called his phone, cussing him out about being gone. Um, he was over it. Like, he was tired at that mm-hmm. point. Like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Satan is a control freak. Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all. So, <clears throat> what you feel say, Miss Candace? No, she's yeah. Like, so, yeah, okay. So, now she done quit. They had sex in the house, blah, blah, blah. So, then she comes back to the job. I was like, girl. Please, please. She got what, what, what did you say? What did you say? Is it your phone, Shaquana? What did your phone get say? Get out that lady's house. Get out that lady's house right if now. You get out that woman's house. And then kept talking about that damn oath. I said, fuck that oath. <laughs> she a doula. She talking about she took an oath and she needs to uphold her oath. Girl, get out that lady's house. Fuck that oath. <laughs> the lady didn't put a trap on you. Just oath. Oath somewhere else. That was the only issue that I had with this whole story that she was sitting up in that house in that lady's face, knowing that she had fucked her husband on that counter. Damn, mm-hmm. no, you cannot do that. And then I don't know. So anyway, so now they trying to stay away from each other again. Right. It's like we can't do this no more. At this point, he feels like okay, now I'm cheating. Before when he mm-hmm. took the pass, he wasn't cheating because he was just right. like. Now he like, I'm cheating. So now he's starting to feel bad. But now they like in the thick of it. So like they really in love with each other, basically. So they like, oh my God. Well, he was trying to he was trying to do better before she came back. Because he remember he saw her at the club. He saw her at the club. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, oh. And no, that, that was not better, Miss Candace. That wasn't better. That's the that wasn't better. That, that was he better. was trying that to do better. Was he he no, because it was back. like he couldn't stay away from her at that club and she was talking to another guy. Oh, yeah. and he, he, lost she was, he was so mad. He was and so she angry. Was to and else. Then he took her back to the house and she was like, all I am is a piece of ass to you. This is so dramatic. All I am, just fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I am to you. And he was like, no, that's not, I, you know, I really care about you. You know, I can't stop messing with you. Y'all be really doing and it. He and didn't, and he didn't go home to Layton that night. And he left his phone with his brother because no, he, she had a tracker on his phone yeah and so but she he came, he came out and got it his, because the thing is she he was at her oh wait a minute we got to speed it up anyway because it's 10 03 but <laughs> she gets pregnant she gets pregnant yeah. i'll say i'll say i'm sex off the and he, he's sex. trying to reach her because she, she didn't left the house she didn't showed up for work for three days she and and he was just like what's you know trying to figure out what's going on he ends up getting let in her house or he gets in her house some kind of way and she's in there she come no she comes to the door and he could tell that she no, remember he went to the he went to the house to talk to her about her showing up and that's when he came right. and he found out that she's having a miscarriage yeah, and yeah. he went and he i think he went in the bathroom and he seen it because it was all on the floor she was mm-hmm. in the and at the he loved this woman because he already knew what it was he was grieving mm-hmm. this baby too mm-hmm. he was grieving yeah. this baby too and he held her and he didn't go home the thing is and so he ended up going home when he finally did Layton smelled her perfume, perfume but she didn't oh, know she was like I, I know this smell <laughs> I know she this said, thing. I know this smell. I don't wear that perfume. And so she don't, she don't, Vera she was don't like, wear that perfume. Ivana Lean don't wear that perfume. <laughs> <laughs> but I know and somebody so wears that perfume. What ends up happening <laughs> is her family wants to give her a baby shower to try to cheer her up and all that kind of stuff. And so they bring in people over and all that. And so she ends up at she ends up i want to say because she started she started kind of wondering was he feeling her feeling mm-hmm. us? yeah she, he, he looked up, she looked up and she started staring but yeah, when that, at the staring. baby shower she smelled sienna and she was like motherfucker bitch you yes, didn't fuck like, my man <laughs> what's you that my but man. She, didn't, she didn't really trip then she was because she was kind of caught she was distracted too yeah, i made sure she was distracted <laughs> Was. I know she hard was to be by, by her little friend. Okay, so yeah. y'all know. Uh, okay, so after the okay, she, oh my god, Ms. but at the showers is when she goes to the hospital. Know, yeah, this was so sad. I cried so hard. Like 
I was like crying. Like, so you threw it. That you was know so what good. was hard you for me? You wrote that so good. When she went to the hospital and, you know, they was trying to save the baby. And for the sake of time, ultimately, they don't save the baby. But Sienna is her doula. So Sienna is there too. He they loves Sienna, the but the damn thing baby. is, Sienna just lost her baby. Mm -hmm. she just had a miscarriage in a bathroom and she's got to be there for this woman because it's her job and he's there for his wife and he's hurting and he's hurting for Sienna mm -hmm. he's hurting and then the person that he needs to comfort him is Sienna but he can't do that because Layton is right here yeah. Mm -hmm. And he needs Sienna, but he loved Layton and he didn't want this to happen. But after it was over, why did you write it? Like it was so conflicted. I was just so I mean, I felt I felt wrong for I was Sienna. Too. You know what the hard was for me? <laughs> That's hard for me. <laughs> hard for me. Like, oh my gosh. It don't be easy. That'd be hard. Especially for me. I don't like to make my uh my male characters cheat. I don't write cheaters. So mm -hmm. Like for that, I had to make it like he had to have a reason. It had to be, he had to still love his wife like a lot. <laughs> but that's something he ready to say. So did that give him a pass because he still loved his wife or was he still a dog ass nigga? It gave him a pass. In my I feel like he was a dog ass. <laughs> and I'm not a pass. You know, was going to give a damn nigga a pass. <laughs> he, I think he was, I was a <laughs> but, did, but but do you all remember the way that his wife treated him as soon as he That's why I gave him a pass. Home, I mean, right. and she was just like f you get it's your fault you did yeah. this he like, oh my what? goodness her taking that baby home like I'm serious it was a couple points you, in this, you did this it? where I was like I might have to put this he down was, look day. she wasn't gonna take the baby home like I did my research right like when I read on that I'm like you can take a baby you can take the baby home I'm like, she's not going to take that baby home. That's kind of crazy. But as I was writing, it happened. So I let it happen. She <laughs> takes the damn baby her home. She took child home and it, kept it for I three let it days. Happen. And I feel like she was made, mad at him for not happen. loving on the baby. Mm. That but little did he know, that, that was so little did she know, yeah. why you went to sleep, he went in there with the baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, wasn't okay, allowed, so. he wasn't allowed to show his emotions around people. Mm. He wasn't allowed to show his emotions, period. Because even mm. when it didn't come down to his own personal family, his mama, his daddy, his yeah. brother, uh, blind. He couldn't, he couldn't be human, for real. They Only around Sienna, Sienna, really. Can so after can she understand. had been beating mm. him down for so long, what you trying to say, Patrice? Can, can you, like, did you do your research? Can you do, can people really do that? Or is that fantasy? No, you really can. That's why you I decided to do it. That's why I decided to do it. That that is. Is. When I was talking about the baby changing and stuff, that's true. Like you really can do that. They give you certain special beds. Um, they accommodate you for those things, and you gotta bring the baby. You gotta bring the baby back eventually. Like the baby can't stay with you, and they say stuff like, uh, you know, expect changes, and like I said, like an ice bed, a ice uh, bed, and it's just certain things you gotta do. Like I said, and then someone in my group when I had my discussion in my group, she said her uh, her friend took her two month old baby home with her. So I guess you can take older babies home too. Not just still mm. one. Was, mm. Wow. Like you could okay, actually we, go, we gotta go past that. <laughs> yeah. we do. I'm we do. Okay, we so do. okay, so this happened. So finally they have like this um blow up fight this where drag she, and I, I wanna talk about that. Somebody said, How about when he told Layton that he was gonna go fuck Sienna again? Yeah. You could have bought me for a penny. Right. You could have bought, baby. He went in on her ass. But did. anyway, so she said okay. something. Right. We skipped something. So she said something to him that was, um, you can't come back from. She and that man needed and her. Was, he needed her at that moment, and she was. He was like, please don't do this to me. And right. she was just like, don't do this to us. She told right. him. She told him it was his fault that the baby had passed. Right. Mm. Yeah. And that, after that, he was like, I'm done. That was like his hand. That was his hand or orgasm in the shower. That was yeah. his hand bleeding in the um, that was his hand bleeding. After that, he was like, I'm done. You are not, you know, finna blame me for this. Cause she was finna move out and go. But you know what? No, that you know what? That happened. He didn't even go off on her tonight. He went off on her tonight the day she came back and caught them in the No, day. I know that. I know no, that. No, I just thought about that. Because mm -hmm. that night, he just was like numb to it. He was like, you know what? You can just leave, whatever, whatever. Right, because she finna yeah, go what? move in with her friend. And it's like, we yeah. need each other. I lost my baby too. And she finna go move in with her friend. He was like, oh, no. Nah. Then you come out, it's my fault. What you? He was like, what you just say to me? 
Right. Okay. So boom, that happened. So now his hands bleeding. He done. He like, I'm done. And she what didn't want to live with her friend. And you find out that her and her friend been fucking. Not yeah. now. Not now. They wouldn't. That was years ago. He didn't find out. No, 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 we she, said we oh, found, oh, yeah. found out. Oh, yeah, at the end. They had sexual relationships. Yeah, we really that girl was still in love with Sarah. her. That was a mess. But um, mm. so what does he do after she leaves? He is all distraught and messed up. He needs somebody. So he goes to Sienna's house. Now she's trying to drunk. leave him alone, y'all. So he goes to her house. He drunk. So her she go. She going to take him home. I'm like, girl, you was crazy as hell. People be doing some crazy stuff. And I know they be doing this stuff in real life. Because that she woman can be there waiting she on you. She what going on. Right. She, she ain't know. She didn't know. So she was taking him home to his wife. She didn't have a come to Jesus moment. She like, I'm done with this. I'm not doing this no more. I want you at home with your wife. Y'all just lost your baby. Yada, yada. So she takes him home. He drunk. He like, I need you, man. You know, blah, blah, blah. So she put him in the bed and he like, come lay with me. And she lays with him in him in his wife's bed. No, <laughs> no he wife. pulled her down. He was he strong. Down. He was too he strong for her. Down. And he was drunk, Miss <laughs> Candace. He pulled that down. As okay. a woman, Miss Candace, why did you write it like it? That was so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> but you know what? But Layton wasn't living there anymore. She moved in with her friend. So why did Layton uh -uh. bring her happy no. ass no, back home that night? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. They ain't had no business in that woman's bed. Well, no, they, they didn't. They didn't have sex, though. They, they didn't, didn't have, have sex. sex. Okay, so they, they fall sure asleep. Have this was good too, Miss Kid. They <laughs> fell asleep and he woke up to somebody punching him. <laughs> it was late. <laughs> she was like, wow, 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 which was so real, y'all. Okay. And then she's in the bed with him. So she had already suspected that they had something going on because of the perfume thing, but it never got addressed because she went into labor. So mm -hmm. now they're in the bed together at the house. No, she been gone for a day. I don't know how long it had been for real. And now y'all in the bed together. She didn't replace me. So boom, that happened. So then she was like, I can't mess with you, basically. I need to get myself together, which I'm right. ready. I, I, I put before. me first, Lucius. <laughs> I need to put me first. So she was like, I, I got it. <laughs> I got to get myself together. This been mm -hmm. too much. You know, we so tied up, blah, 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 blah. So long so story. so tied up. <laughs> they so tied up. And I got to get out of this. So long story short, they parted ways for an entire year. Entire year. Oh, we forgot something. What we, we forget? did? What we did? I'm sorry. Mahogany. Oh, oh, her sister. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. God. I remember the girl who was getting gang bang, <laughs> who was in control of the penises as of LaCroix. But see, we didn't get a chance to tell Mahogany's story. That ended up being Deanna's um, sister, y'all, and her daughter yeah. came with that man. <laughs> is she, is, is Mahogany getting a book? Yeah. She is? Okay. She's going to be the last book. We got to hear about her and that husband, because I'm like, what the hell is going on? She's going to be the last book. It's going to be St. Blaze and Mahogany. But say any Naoki blaze then mahogany. So say it again. Say and say and Naoki gonna be together. Right. Blaze and then um mahogany. Mahogany. Oh, okay. No. I can see that. I can see that because Blaze is a little freak. Mm -hmm. I can see that with all them goddamn hoes in the house. They oh, I want to see them break. I want to see him get broke down. I want to see. We have to finish the story out. So oh, yeah. they ended up back together a year later. They ended up getting married. They ended up having. Baby, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The first damn day, she got bent over on top of the car in the parking <laughs> garage. They didn't even fucking make it home. The fuck. <laughs> Was it lust or was it a soul tie? A soul it, it was tie. a release that time. Can't say a soul tie. <laughs> it had some <laughs> frustration. Because they can't even make it out the parking lot. At this point. <laughs> so, Miss Candace, tell the people what you got going on. First of all, you did an amazing job. Thank you. Hold on. We got one question before we wrap up. With the book, why didn't uh he uh Jihad find out about Layton? That's what yeah. somebody asked. We don't always find out everything, do we? No, we Not, don't. We don't. It's some right. women out here. Be a real. It's some women out here that think they had a man who was so faithful. But Jihad, he had suspicion. 
And y'all, like, I left some little, like, some little hints in the book. Like, remember at the beginning when he walked in the room and um, Faro was on his bed. He looked at her. He's like, yeah, she better get on my bed. Like, she owned it or whatever. He had suspicion. And then, like, when um, Layton was kicking her, telling her to get out the bed because she didn't want Jahad to walk in to see her land in it. Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff. Like, I, I dropped yeah. little hints in it. But I didn't want to, like, say, like, oh, he knew because, like, because we don't always find out. You're right. You're right. Yeah, it's, and then also, I my question it. is, what was up with the mama's fascination with the fuck boy? Like, why would you invite him over to She Sunday wanted Sunday? her daughter. She just wanted her daughter to get, she was obsessed with seeing her getting a life. She thought mama I wasn't was mad at the mama all the way. I was, even after you found out he had a whole nother baby. Yeah. I wasn't mad at her. I understood where the she mama She wanted Sienna to have what Mahogany had because she thought Mahogany had a perfect life but turns out as y'all seen Mahogany ain't happy at she, all yeah so she just wanted Sienna like she said oh I want you to be happy and Sienna like you think happiness I gotta have a man to be happy that's kind of weird you know right mm -hmm. um, and she ended up getting with her friend the, the friend that was always around that he didn't mm -hmm. like she mm -hmm. ended up getting with a friend so everybody ended up with a baby at the end yeah. Uh, see Anna and Jahad created a baby on top so of that hood that night. Baby, baby Dream, yeah. who was bad as hell, breaking uh Blaze's daughter's phone every five minutes. <laughs> and so um Layton and what was her what was her best friend named Marcus or what was her name? Uh wrong. Wrong. The they the ended up with a baby named was it who was the baby name? Oh no, you I I, was, I don't yeah, know. No. They ended up with uh, a little girl. Her name. And she in New York living her best life, lit, putting all her art pieces and stuff like that inside of his uh, art well, basically, gallery. Basically, everybody ended up where they were supposed to be. Exactly. Everybody ended up where they were supposed and to be. And I said that too That's in the why book. That's all happened. That's why all I happened. I put that in the book too. With, with, um, Jaha said, we um, going to come in this. We going to leave this thing. Somebody came in, they happy. And they mm -hmm. did. They did. Oh. <laughs> Aww. Look at how much fun. Look at how much She's like, I did that, y'all. Yes, honey. <laughs> she did. She she did. did. <laughs> I mean, I was, I had some fun. Yeah, you had me stretched fun. out with this. It book. was good. It was really, yeah. really good. Thank so, you. Of course, that. I got to ask. I ask all artists who, when they come on, is this book going to be on Audible? Is this book going to be on audio? Are you into audio? What are we doing with the audio world? I feel like a drug call, you should have been on audio, but you know. You already know it's going to be on audio. The, the, right. the people didn't know that. Oh, <laughs> I didn't spill that tea, Miss Candace. I forgot it's other people watching. I forgot it's other people watching. But yes, it's going to be on audio. Uh, I don't know when, but soon, probably in a few months or so. Okay, okay. And the other so parts are going to be too. My audio head, Audible heads is in production. <laughs> it's going to be on audio, y'all. I can't tell you who the narrator is going to be. I was sworn to secret. <laughs> <laughs> but just know, I helped pick them. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if I pick them, they going to be they, fire. It, it's going to be fire. They're going to be no bullshit. And they're going to be no bullshit at all. No, <laughs> we got three books coming after this. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. We got three books coming oh, after well, this. Oh, well, kind of. Um, I just, uh, well, I don't know if y'all got to the, well, y'all probably read the book before I put it in there, but I'm doing, um, Infinite Soul Ties. Yes. And Infinite Soul Ties is, um, like at the end of the book, I, when I said, uh, the line, the last line Jaha said, when he said, uh, he can imagine there being different versions of them existing in other, whatever. I put that line because I was supposed to write Infinite Soul Ties inside of that book, but I didn't have a chance to, because I was tired, mm -hmm. but so I ended up doing it separate there. It's like parallel universes, mm -hmm. different versions of them in parallel universes. And it's showing like how they met. Uh, I released one today. It's called uh, Illusion of Love. Okay. And it's like a short story. It's just showing how they met. It's short. It's on my website. Okay. Yeah. okay so get that real website. Stories. I'm, I'm going to try to do one every week, but I don't, I got to write stink story. So right. yes, we know I might do it like... <laughs> Yeah, I might just do like every every three weeks, maybe. But the first one up now, nah, so. So oh, this is a parallel universe, like when they when they souls first met. Is that what you're saying? Not no, it's like different versions of them. Like, okay. And this one, the the the, the jihad in this one, like he bald headed, and okay. he, there is Layton. Layton is in it. Um, okay. Naoki in it. Everybody is in it. 
but it's just different versions of them. Like, I don't know if y'all know anything about like parallel universes and stuff like that. Right. But it's like them, but it's not them. Okay. Like, like we know them, but it's yeah. them in another time. Right. Yeah, like, it's not I'm them. Not like, them. Like, Sienna is a totally different person. Like she's dark. She's going, okay. she has dark cloud on her head. She's right. Pressed and stuff. And like Jihad, he's he has dreams about this girl he never met. He's okay. in jail since he's a kid. And he's trying to find her. And, mm. her. and okay. she sees him and he and he makes her feel. <laughs> so that's how they meet. Okay. 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 So what else you got going on, Miss Candace? How do people can reach you? Um Instagram at literary pampusher, literary dot pampusher. Um my website. Authormiscandice.com, Facebook, Author Miss Candace, and TikTok, Author Miss Candace. <laughs> okay. And guess what? You mm-hmm. are gonna have books and brunch in August. Yes, yeah. Yep. Yeah. August. August. It's August 5th. Oh, look at the dates next up. August the 5th. It's it is August, August 5th. 5th. Because August I'm 5th. coming, remember? Mm-hmm. I'm oh, you'll come. Yeah, well, because I, I only live I live three hours away, so I could drive down. Okay, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna go to Flint because I'm from Flint, so I'll go to Flint and then I'll just drive down. It'll be an hour, an hour drive. Okay, I can't wait to meet you. It's gonna yes. be fun. So, 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 yeah, y'all to thank you know, if y'all in the area. Yes, and we if y'all in Warren, Michigan. For being here. Was it everything? Y'all? When Saint book gonna be released? Did you mm-hmm. say when we're gonna get Saint? Saint is gonna be um first it's gonna be at the brunch. It's gonna be an advanced copy for people who get um the ticket for the advanced copy but then it's going to be on um it's not going to be on amazon until um maybe september or the end yeah the vip for the brunch (laughs) which i'm registering for the vip (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's going to be an advanced copy copy. patrice you got to let us know when you get back home and get settled what's what's going on in saint and (laughs) naoki world I know they're gonna be at Pandora because Naoki was trying to get there. He already got to get there. I already know they gonna be at Pandora. Shut the damn. It is 922, baby. This book got us over 22 minutes. Oh, yeah. It was good. It was good. If you haven't read it, read it. If you have read it, read it again. Yes, because it was good. And we're going to stay in the infinite universe because I want to see what that's all about. And I do we'll too. see you again, probably. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I Jennifer, appreciate y'all for having me. Jennifer, please inbox me your email address so I can get you the copy of Infinite Soul Ties because Jennifer was the winner because she said it would be a N was. Bitch ass niggas. You always got them bitch ass niggas. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right. y'all. Next Tuesday, we are talking about at the end of it all with Ray. Yes. 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 Oh, I was about to say um, about the next four, five. What you, what you, what you did say? you say, uh, Miss Candace? I thought y'all was going to say um, me for Nora, but I said, I ain't even, I'm nowhere near finished. It's going to take me a real long time to finish. No, I'm I'm halfway okay. through. I can't find, uh, I need to sit we, down and read it. It's going to be in June. I'm gonna it's going to be in June. It's going to be in June. So I might not even be done in June. Oh, Lord. I, 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 I can't read until I'm going to bed. That's all I, I'm going to read. I feel <laughs> you, Miss Candace. Okay, y'all. We out of here. All right. Thanks for having me. Miss Candace. Bye. Bye. Bye.